the great big sea are, are, renowned, are renowned for singing traditional Newfoundland songs. And one of those songs is Wave Over Wave. And I'm not sure if it is an old song or recently composed, but it does have a traditional sense to it. And the chorus goes like this. Well, it's wave over wave, sea over bow. I'm as happy a man as the sea will allow. There's no other life for a sailor like me than the sail the salt sea, boys, the sail the seas. There's no other life but to sail the salt seas. For many fishermen from Newfoundland and other places where fishing is prominent, it is common for this type of work to be a part of the very fabric of the people who do it. So much so, it is inconceivable to separate the fishing from the person. And I suggest the same could be said of Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Yet they simply walked away from being fishermen to be fishers of people. Our gospel passage is near the beginning of Matthew's gospel. Jesus has been baptized, has endured the temptations in the desert, and has just begun his ministry in Galilee. Jesus has just started his job, so to speak. Now he is calling forth his first disciples. A couple of points are worth noting here. Firstly, from what we can tell, the fishing industry at the Sea of Galilee in Jesus' time was a healthy industry it would have provided a good and stable income. And then secondly, while some refer to the fishermen apostles as being uneducated, uh, the scholar Daniel Harrington maintains they likely knew how to read and write because of the Jewish education system and the stability of the local community. As well, they likely had a solid formation in their faith and were part of a real and active faith community. While their faith formation laid a foundation for their openness to God, it is still quite the leap of faith for these fishermen to suddenly leave their community and work, to leave their community and work and to go and follow Jesus. For most of us, we will not have such a dramatic calling to pick up and leave to follow Christ. So it's not ruled out. Yet each day, in more subtle ways, Jesus calls us to leave a part of us, or part of what we are doing, to follow him. May we be open to such callings as we take our steps, and at times leaps of faith in answering Jesus' call to be fishers of people.